the only DFW anniversary being celebrated in Atlanta this week. Bill Jones joins us from the Super Bowl City with more on that story. We're inside the Georgia World Conference Center here in downtown Atlanta. It is the nerve center for Super Bowl 53, and we are right alongside Radio Row, where literally hundreds of radio shows are being broadcast throughout the nation throughout this week. You know, the Cowboys were in a Super Bowl in Atlanta some 25 years ago, and that was also the first week that Sports Radio 1310, the ticket, was in existence. So it's fitting this week that there's an Atlanta Super Bowl 28 banner hanging directly over the ticket's broadcast broadcast position this week here on Radio Row. The Cowboys haven't been back to a Super Bowl in 23 years, but the ticket has put together a radio ratings winning dynasty better than even the Patriots. It's 25 years ago, we signed on the air January 24th and that afternoon, fly to Atlanta and spend our first week on the air basically in Atlanta covering the Cowboys and the Bills and uh, we had such a blast that week even though we had no idea what we were doing. I was such a Cowboy fan growing up. Being in radio, I thought, man, what if an all-sports station did happen? Now I'm at an all-sports station talking about the Cowboys. I'm at the Super Bowl. I've never been to one before. It was great. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fitting that we're right underneath that banner 25 years later. The ticket still going strong at age 25 back here in Atlanta. Coming up at 